The Johannes Kepler ATV, or Automated Transfer Vehicle 002, ATV 002 was an unmanned cargo spacecraft built to resupply the International Space Station ISS. It was launched on 16 February 2011 by the European Space Agency ESA. Johannes Kepler carried propellant, air and dry cargo weighing over 7,000 kg 15,000 pounds, and had a total mass of over 20,000 kg 44,000 pounds, making it, at the time, the heaviest payload launched by the ESA. The spacecraft was named after the 17th century German astronomer Johannes Kepler. Johannes Kepler was the second ATV cargo resupply vehicle to be launched, following the Jules Verne mission of 2008. Johannes Kepler carried around 5 tons more cargo than Russia's Progress M resupply spacecraft, and about 1.5 tons more than the Japanese HTV. The ATV used 4,500 kg 9, pounds of fuel to boost the ISS's altitude from 350 to 400 km. Many of the supplies aboard the ATV were used for the Space Shuttle mission STS 133 and the ISS Expedition 26. A re entry breakup recorder was placed aboard the ATV before it undocked from the ISS on 20 June 2011. Johannes Kepler performed a destructive re entry as intended on 21 June 2011, with its remains impacting the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft Johannes Kepler consisted of two sections, the propulsion module, with four main engines and 28 smaller maneuvering thrusters, and the integrated cargo carrier, which attached directly to the ISS and could hold up to eight standard payload racks. The four solar wings of the spacecraft provided up to 4,800 watts of electrical power to its rechargeable batteries. The ATV's rendezvous and docking system mounted a telegoniometer, which functioned as a radar system, and two videometers, which fired laser pulses at cube-shaped reflectors on the ISS Zvezda service module for range detection. The nose of the spacecraft contained rendezvous sensors and Russian docking equipment. Topic: <laughs> Specifications. Topic. Mission payload Source, NASA Topic. Geoflow 2 Johannes Kepler delivered the Geoflow 2 hydrodynamics experiment container to the ISS. This experiment was designed to observe liquid movements in microgravity, and compare them with computer simulations, thus helping scientists to understand convection currents within the Earth's mantle. <laughs> Mission summary Launch <laughs> 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 On 16 February 2011 UTC, Johannes Kepler was launched on an Ariane 5 ES rocket from the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana. The launch was conducted by Arianespace on behalf of the ESA. The first launch attempt, on 15 February 2011, was halted four minutes before liftoff, due to an erroneous signal from one of the rocket's fuel tanks. Docking Docking with the ISS was completed on the 24th of February 2011 at 1559 coordinated universal time after a 15 minute delay. The spacecraft traveled over 8 days to catch up with the space station and arrived at the aft port of the station's Zvezda service module. During the rendezvous operations, ATV2 traveled a total of 2.5 million miles. The docking occurred as ATV2 and the ISS flew over the coast of Liberia in western Africa. Hooks and latches engaged a few minutes later to firmly attach ATV-2 to the ISS. The Johannes Kepler mission marked the first time European astronauts were on board the International Space Station during an ATV mission, with Italian astronaut Paolo Nespoli welcoming the ATV's arrival. ESA astronaut Roberto Vittori was also aboard the ISS at the same time as the ATV, having arrived on Space Shuttle Endeavour on the STS-134 mission in May 2011. Topic. ISS altitude increase 
Johannes Kepler was used to boost the ISS's standard altitude from about 350 km to 400 km The higher altitude has lower atmospheric drag, which reduces the propellant needed annually to maintain the station's altitude from 6,800 kg to roughly 3,630 kg depending on atmospheric conditions. The ATV used about 4,500 kg 9,900 of rocket fuel to accomplish this change, with the reboost occurring incrementally over several months. <laughs> End of mission and deorbit On 20 June 2011, Johannes Kepler undocked from the ISS. At 18:30 coordinated universal time, 2030 Central Europe summer time, that same day, while preparing to deorbit, the ATV was forced to conduct a debris avoidance maneuver, using some of its remaining fuel to move into a safe orbit after NASA warned of a potential collision with orbital debris. On the 21st of June 2011, the ATV deorbited, burning up in the atmosphere as planned over the South Pacific Ocean at around 22:44 Central Europe time. ATV missions See also H-2 transfer vehicle Progress spacecraft List of unmanned space flights to the ISS <laughs>